people are so quick to just it's the instant gratification that fucks me up nowadays that shit pisses me off because everybody wants thing quick i want to be rich quick i want to be this quick i want to be i want to have a fat ass big titties and big dick and all that stuff i want it quick i want to go to surgery i'm gonna take a pill you know making nine chances of the big dick you know right now they got shit out there get surgery got some fat take the fat off your stomach and put it in your dick make it big <laughs> <laughs> The motherfucker out there promoting. They talk about you're a little man. I can help you be a big man. Just come to me. I shoot some stuff in your shit. Take some fat at your back and put it you off know your what? stomach. That, if that was real, that man would make a killer. That motherfucker is. It's a dude that does that shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you some real shit, y'all. I'm telling you, it's a dude that take fat out your out your stomach and out your back and put it in your dick. And then what? Then that's supposed to make it. Does it does it grow naturally still? Like they, now, like what the back, guy says is, it's supposed again. to make it based on how the fat is. It can make it definitely wider and definitely longer based on how the fat. And it still grows and like mm -hmm. operates normally. Yeah, because a lot of guys are are a little a little when it comes to that. So they're like, I need enhancement. Mm -hmm. So they're thinking about like women to do BBLs. There's men that go to doctors that would literally transfer fat. From different parts of their body and shoot it down there. I, I, there ain't no problem. With I see no issue with that. If women can, if women can change their entire bodies, this you can look like a completely different person as a woman. Really? By <laughs> will. <laughs> niggas, niggas get one thing. You bad because if you can get one thing. Really? <laughs> if, like, a go from four <laughs> if a nigga goes from four to six inches, you mad at him for wanting to go from four to six inches? Now I want to know how long it's gonna last for though. Is it last well, for a lifetime? Well, it, it lasts. It lasts as long as you have, you know, fat. It, the fat stays down there, but it, I think it, every once in a while. So the older you get, you need to you get it. At, you gotta yeah. touch it, take because again, <laughs> for most. Of it, but same thing yeah. with the BBL. I would think like your butts are gonna like your okay, BBL yeah, looks good yeah, at twenty seven. Yeah. Like your yeah. BBL are gonna go look good at fifty seven. Yeah. No, like, you gonna have to touch it up at some point. You gonna have you gonna have a BBL to get a man, yeah. and then he gonna give you pipe, and uh -huh. then you gonna get pregnant, which is you gonna get a belly, uh -huh. and you gonna get all that fat that you lost, you gonna get it right back. So my thinking is your BBL is gonna go to shit too. Logically speaking, you would have wow. to. Oh, wow. So you would have to get it touched up again. You would logically you speaking because your your right your skin will stretch. I thought you supposed to maintain those in the gym. Shit. You would think. I mean. <laughs> I can tell you, I'm in the fucking gym, what, four days a week? You don't see them type of women? I don't see them kind of women. No. Fuck no. no. I no. never see those kind of oh. fucking women. I walk in there. I, the women I see in there, you can look at them and see they're naturally built. And, uh -huh. they, and they work at the hit the weights to do all the stuff, to do all the cardio and shit. I never, 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 never seen a chick with a BBL in the fucking gym. Okay. Then they always cross the hall buying some dress to cup to. to yep, H and M showing the ass. Talking, about, <laughs> I'm about to like, spam my ass so somebody can see my ass. But but the other women are in the fucking gym sweating and and just in there, you know, one two one two, and they're in there working out. And I I respect them women because they ain't out there trying. I'm gonna have a surgery change my body. These women say fuck that. I'm putting the work in, and that's that's the thing. <sighs> People don't want to put the fucking work in to be the best they can. Everybody want to fucking. But those women said that surgery was the work. They said that was the work. But they have, but the recovery say, was the you work. Have to put the work in to get a BBL because you have to go to. You would have to go to work. You have to save up the money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then you have to get the, You have to find the doctor. If you're doing it right, you have to find the doctor. That's true. Putting in the and work. Then you would have to make sure that, like, all your aftercare is set up. Mm -hmm. Then you get the surgery. Then you have to make sure. So, theoretically, like, let me not be, let's not be too disrespectful. If you do get a BBL, you do have to put in some work. Yes. It's just not, it's not physical work in the way that you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's not in the gym. It's not in the gym. Can donkey kicks make my butt go that fat, though? I'm just wondering. It, it's like going to take some work. Old, like mine specifically. Yeah, not you, no, <laughs> no, let me tell you. Those, let me tell, you know what helps most? Deadlifts. Producer, doesn't deadlift help you with the glutes and stuff like that? Deadlift leg like press. But how extreme is the maker go, makeover going to be if it's just in the no, gym? Whatever, whatever you yes. Said no. <laughs> the producer said it real said strong. No. 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 But you work with what good. you got. Because mm -hmm. we know, men know, for the most part, we look at some, that ass is fake as hell. 
But be- y'all still gonna enjoy it. Of course we will. I mean, we so ain't gonna go to gotta mention it. But again, <laughs> do we're gonna enjoy it? That's, that's who we are. <laughs> but no, but so I, I appreciate that sentence because by the same token, if I want to go get f- my fat and my stomach shot into my dick. A bitch gonna appreciate that too. Yeah, she gonna yeah, enjoy yeah. that too. She not gonna, she not gonna be mad. She not gonna, oh, you got, I can't believe you lied to me. You got a dick enhancement. <laughs> no, I don't want it. No, but that, that dick enhancement was fine when you was climbing the walls. You know, with that bitch like Spider-Man. But it's like, but you should have told me about that first. Just like it's, you should have told me about that fake ass BBL that I know you have. <laughs> True. True. Yes. Yes. True. <laughs> and see, that's the other thing. We're talking relationships, and you see her based on who she are, is. Do what I expect her to tell me. She has a BBL. I personally, hey. I wouldn't. I would. I, I would find out. I mean, I look at Stan. Hey. She, her body look a little. She looked tight now. In the hey, beginning, this, I could have like been that. born like this. Exactly. That's number one. That, I could have been true. snatched. Spot all that. I, yeah. yeah, I could have been born like that. that and and yeah. that, I, we would appreciate that. Mm-hmm. But when we find I'm out... I'm looking like a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, and when we find out... Flash I would be just popping and all. And you know, and that's... And let me say, that's the other thing. We talk about BBL. Women got so much fake shit they can put on nowadays to fake a motherfucker out. It ain't even funny. When I... First of all, how are you going to say something like that? Girl, they got fake eyelashes, fake lips, fake lips, hair. Lips, fake, Oh, okay, Botox? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, f- all kinds of fake shit. And it, it, it got put Botox in their face and, and fillers in their face and all that shit. There's a commercial mm-hmm. that I saw, which is fucking disturbing. It was a lady. She was 40. 40. Had nine kids. She didn't look like she had nine kids, okay. but she said I had nine kids. She said... I. You know, I got all these kids I'm running around and everything, and I need to change something. I need to change my look because I look like I've been old. Well, it took her before and after. She looked the same fucking person to me, but she's like, I feel so better with the with the Botox, Botox in my face, and all this. And I, I just feel so different. And I'm sitting there looking like, you don't spend money to make an enhancement that nobody fucking noticed. Oh, yeah, I thought she got a what is it a vacation. Like at nine no, kids, I you need something. You, you need to go get that refresh. You, the BBL, BBV, no. whatever the fuck it is. Like, what are you doing? Exactly. So like, it's like I'm thinking, like, fuck. You, you know, you look don't look any different. So I'm like, at forty, you you think it's time to get a Botox? At forty? Mm. I mean, sixty. Eh, I gotta understand it. But yeah. forty. But women are now going and they're going younger. There's a lot of younger women that's getting Botox. In their twenties, get okay. I need Botox in my twenties. Like, fuck, you haven't stopped growing yet. Or oh, I need to get, get boobs. They just send a little collagen supplement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have a little cream on your face. Okay. Yeah, and I'm and I'm you like, know. you know, and I'm I'm all for enhancement. I'm all for making yourself being the best you can. But at some point, you just had to put the work in to look the best you can. But sometimes you like like I feel like Botox specifically is built for things you cannot tangibly fix. Like mm-hmm. fine lines you, and wrinkles. Fine lines and wrinkles. Yeah, you can use cream and shit, but there's only but you know like cream but is only but for, okay. for, for so much. Mm-hmm. So Botox fills in kind of that that gap. I think the problem is is that a lot of people are so busy focusing on Instagram and how like you look on social media and you see all these young girls. You always see like the pretty women and the. The fancy cars and the bright lights and it's and the best look you can capture. Oh, the best! The <laughs> make best. sure you have no bags going in your eyes. You no, know, just make sure no. everything is perfect. Like Everything's no, gotta uh-uh. be perfect. You got filters for every goddamn yeah. thing. That's yeah, put a so bad. On top of that. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then when you see the person, like, who the fuck? First of all, <laughs> now that's the part that messes you up. <laughs> that is so true. When you don't like recognize people from Instagram because you're done up every time you drop a photo okay every sure. time you drop a photo sure. so uh, again you you're dealing with the facade of a person you're really not really dealing mm-hmm. with who they are and then when you find out who well you don't really find out who they are you just kind of say you assume who they are and then you want to all of a sudden ingratiate themselves and bring them into your life you know just i don't really fucking know them really you look good smell good mm, i think i think I, th- I think i could we can work with each other you don't fucking know her or him Bring them in your world, and all of a sudden you start seeing the the ish 
that mm-hmm, you got. Mm-hmm. And the now representative you look, goes away. There you go. Because now they're in your house. You see them every day. Well, they got to let their hair down. I can't keep a representative on 24 hours. 